Good evening, or good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It feels like evening with the cloudy skies, but we welcome all of you to Shalom Christian Academy. And don't be afraid to get loud, because these girls want to play a loud gym. It's no fun playing a kid. So please speak up and uh, cheer positively for your team, and that, that's going to be welcome here. Uh, so a warm welcome to Cal Christian Patriots from Westminster. So we're pleased that they can be here. It's not an easy drive, so we're thankful they made it safely. So before we begin our lineups, let's take a moment and bow our heads in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we are thankful that we can be here in a nice, warm, dry gym. We thank you for those who are able to come out and support our girls as they play the game of basketball. Thank you for these girls and the hard work they put in so far this season. We ask that you protect them from injury. I pray that they would have a good time competing. And I pray that uh, good sportsmanship be demonstrated here today. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And for the starting lineup for the Carroll Christian Patriots. We have number 11, Joanna Matthews. Number 13, Haley Goldsmith. Number 14, Ashley Day. Number 12, Alfreda Potter. And number 3, Kira Goldsmith. First two points up the board right away for J.C. Keller, assisted by Kelsey E.B. Welcome to Shalom's Varsity Basketball. Varsity girls take it on Carroll Christian. And the Patriots' first shot is no good, but they get the rebound. And Flames will be in a man-to-man -man defense. Christian all the way from Westminster, Maryland. Quite a drive. They'll work around and go baseline. Good defense by Moore. Shot is up. No good, but rebounded. And that'll be number 12, Potter. Puts Carroll Christian on the board. Tied at two apiece. And it looks as if the Patriots will start out in a zone. They get inside the Myers. The EB, she can't connect, but it's uh, going to be out of bounds on the Flames on the baseline. Inside the Potter, and it's tipped out of bounds by Chloe Martin. Nine. Nine. 
Good defense by the Flames. Tip it away, but Patriots get the ball back. And we've got a travel. Good defense by Kelsey Eby and Chloe Martin. Close up the lane. Inside the Myers. Any more lines it up. She'll fake and go straight to the basket with an easy two pointer. So a nice fake. Gets the Patriots off their feet. Both of them. Number 13 with the long three ball. That is Haley Goldsmith knocking down her first three pointer. Stolen by the Patriots. And they'll miss the layup. And here come the Flames. Any more will fake it again. She'll pass it back out inside the Myers jump shot from the free throw line, and it's good. So Liam Myers getting on the scoreboard early in the game. Ball tipped away, stolen by the Flames. They tried to get it inside to Goldsmith but she couldn't handle it. Okay, Emily, Back inside it. the Myers on the baseline. Annie Moore will pull up. Jump shot is good. So a quick offensive game for both teams. Eight to five. Flames leading. Hitting a lot of their shots early. Ball almost lost out of bounds by the Patriots. They recover. Number 11 can't finish. She's had to switch over to the right hand, so uh, not left hand dominant, and she missed the layup. Martin will drive, take the jump shot. Falls short, but Myers gets the rebound, and she can't corral it, and it'll go out of bounds. Drive baseline and kick it. And number three, Goldsmith finds her first bucket of the game. Flames working around. More fakes, it gets it to the wing. Pass tipped out of bounds. Flames will keep it on the sideline. Myers will take her second shot from the free throw line and it bounces around the rim for two. Five minutes played already in the first quarter. Flames leading by three. But the Patriots get inside, can't connect. Rebounded by Myers. And Flames will look to push it. Martin, tough pass to Kel JC Keller. She'll go to the ground and lose the ball. And that'll be a turnover. Goldsmith. The second Goldsmith will take a three, doesn't connect, and ooh, tough call on the play. Looks like J.C. Keller got a block on it, but uh, must have had part of the hand. That'll be her first, team first. And that'll send number 14, Ashley Day, to the line shooting two. First shot is up, no good. Second shot is no good, but the Patriots come up with the loose ball. 
So they'll get a second opportunity on this possession. Goldsmith a long three off the rim. Rebounded by Day. The other Goldsmith, she'll try for three and she'll connect and tie it up at 10 apiece. That is her second. Annie Moore lines it up from downtown. Can't connect, rebounded by the Patriots. Loose ball picked up by Kelsey Eby. She'll get ahead to Martin. Martin will drive and kick to Keller. Any more fakes? Pass stolen by the Patriots. And you'll have a timeout on the floor by Coach Eby as Kelsey Eby came up with the loose ball. 144 left in the first quarter. S score is tied at 10 apiece. It'll be a full timeout. Are you? It's just me. He's the one making it hot. Well, maybe if you brought like a jacket to wear, you, know, you wouldn't have that problem. It was raining this morning. <laughs> Do you have a weather app? They're made for a reason. Neither do I, but if it's raining, I'm going to check it. Score tied at 10 apiece. First quarter, 144 left to play. Flames have the ball. Pass inside, tipped, Flames like lucky to retain <coughs> any more put and this is the runner on the baseline Patriots get it out and number 11 goes all the way to the basket but can't finish Goldsmith with the rebound gets it out to her sister pass inside shot is no good EB comes up with the rebound she'll get it ahead to Myers and she'll be fouled on the play by number 11 It'll be Joanna Matthews with her first, team first. Baseline out of bounds. Any more lines it up. Misses it, but Liam Myers comes to the rebound, puts it right back, and she's fouled on the play by number three, Goldsmith. So she'll go to the line for the traditional three-point play. Joanna Ream will come in for J.C. Keller as she gets a breather. Shot is up and in from the charity strike for Leah Myers. That'll give the Flames a three-point lead with under a minute to play in the first quarter. Goldsmith in the corner, she's hit two. That one rims in and out. Flames with the rebound, 45 seconds left in the first. Any more at the top, gets it to Martin. They'll slow it down. Inside the Myers, she's had a good game so far. And tough, tough no call. Leah Myers with a good shot, but she was hung on to on the arm. Annie Moore comes up, loose ball, and Goldsmith and Evie will fight for it. 
And it'll be out of bounds on the Patriots. So it'll be Flames ball with 16 seconds to go. And we'll see what they do. Inside the EV. EV tries to go outside to more. Five seconds left. Stolen. And she'll go for the basket and miss it. Tough miss by the ninth grader, Joanna Matthews, who has had a tough time going in for a layup. That would be her second miss on the layup. So after one quarter, it's 10 to 13 flames. Two team fouls on the Patriots, one on the flames. So on the floor for the Flames, seeing her first action tonight is number 23, Elena Jones, in with Joanna Mar uh, Reem, Kelsey Eby, Chloe Martin, and Annie Moore. Patriots try and get it inside. Inside, the Goldsmith wide open underneath. And they've got two points off the glass. Inside the Jones. Back outside. More old Kralik. More old drive to the lane. Can't quite get it to fall. Loose ball. Crowd by Moore after the tips. Chloe Martin gets to the EB. Over to Ream. Inside to Jones, and she's tripped on the play. That'll be Goldsmith with her second foul, team third. That is Kier Goldsmith. Stolen by the Patriots. Matthews passes for Goldsmith, but it's stolen by Eby. Any more gets it on the baseline, goes inside to Jones, and she can't quite finish, but she comes back with a rebound. Any more line up the three from the corner. How do you do? That's a three-pointer from downtown for Any Moore. 16 to 12 Flames lead. Tipped by Reem. And J.C. Keller will come in and give Chloe Martin a rest. Number 42 for the Patriots will come in. That is sophomore Abby Wyke. Seeing her first action. Day inside, pass is stolen. Pass inside to Jones. He'll move it around. Kelsey Eby will drive off the backboard. No resistance. Good shot. She puts it in for two. Yeah. 
Shot in the corner from Day, off the mark, rebounded by Jones. She gets it out to Keller, and the Flames are up and running. Bounce pass to Moore. She's blocked on the play by Matthews. Good pass. Moore couldn't quite finish on the play. Good defense by the Patriots, and Matthews will pull up for a three. No good. Rebounded by Eby. She'll drive the lane. And they'll bring it back out. Inside the Jones. Any more with the three fading away. Gets a bounce. Gets it to bounce around the rim and it falls. Flames up by nine. So off the front of the rim, the back of the backboard and the side of the rim. And finally gets it to go. Good defense by the Flames. Good save by Brad Eby before hitting the camera. So with four, just over four minutes left in the first half, Flames leading by nine, 21 to 12. Loose ball. And we got a timeout on the floor, so after a tip pass by Matthews, loose ball comes up the flames, and coach calls a quick timeout. And that'll be a 30-second timeout. 4.06 left in the first half. Flames working it around the perimeter. Patriots in a 2-3 defensively. Any more to the charity stripe. Can't go to the fall, but Elena Jones with a good, strong rebound. Martin will drive and kick. Leah Myers gets at the rattle home. Leah Myers having a strong first half. Flames leading by 11. Goldsmith will pull wide open, misses everything. The other Goldsmith gets the rebound, but she can't connect. And it'll be out of bounds to the Flames. So Adria Ream will come in for Elena Jones as she takes a breather. Flames will slow it up and work around the perimeter. Tried to get it inside, but loose ball stolen by Goldsmith. Back to Goldsmith, give and go. Shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Goldsmith, but hustle by Chloe Martin produces a jump ball. Going to the Flames. Passes the Keller. He'll set it back up. Chloe Martin gets a tip to EB just off the hands of Ream. Can't quite handle it. 
And that'll be a turnover, 2.06 left in the first half. Tipped by Martin, Goldsmith gets it and she puts it in for easy two off the back of the backboard. Martin drives and kicks. Martin will drive and try to pass. And it's tipped on the play, but they'll call her for a travel. Uh, she still held possession. And Annie Moore will enter the game for Chloe Martin as she gets a breather. Goldsmith to the other Goldsmith. Three is no good, rebounded by Day, and it's tipped out of bounds. The Flames pick up man the man, except for nobody on the baseline. Inside, back outside. Good defense by the Flames. One minute left in the first half. Leading by nine. Good hands by Andy Moore. And Goldsmith will drive and kick. Day with the three-pointer off the front of the iron. And we've got a travel on the play. Rebounded by the Patriots, but they'll turn it over. Anymore fakes, drives baseline. She'll pull back and dribble in. Kelsey Eby looks inside the Myers off the glass. Leah Myers having a great first half as she scores with 20 seconds left. And Goldsmith gets in the corner. Inside, Matthews blocked by Anymore. Eight seconds left, she passes it up to Reem. Adria Reem looks for more. Two seconds left. She'll throw it up with one. There it is. So after an almost broken down play, Annie Moore steps back in the corner, hits the three. That'll bring the Flames to 28, Patriots 14. Flames doubling the score here at the half. And we'll take a 10-minute halftime and come back to you after that.
Welcome back for the second half of your varsity girls action. Shalom Flames against Carol Christian. And Flames are reading, leading, doubling the score of the Patriots, 14 to 28. Led by Leah Myers having a strong first half. Couple of jumpers and a couple of putbacks inside and a three point play that she was fouled on. And ball goes out of bounds on the Patriots. Couldn't catch the pass. And we got a full court, uh, three quarter court press by the Patriots. Easily get it across. And Moore takes his baseline jumper. Can't quite get it to fall in. And here come the Patriots. Pointer by Day, no good, rebounded by Moore, and she's fouled on the play. So the Patriots five on the floor. Kiara Goldsmith, number three. Alfreda Potter, number 12. Ashley Day, number 14. Haley Goldsmith, 13. And Joanna Matthews, number 11. And scorekeepers, book, or Timekeeper is kind of falling apart here in the second half. Didn't reset the clock. Drive by Chloe Martin on the baseline. Hits it against the glass and gets it to go for two. And Flames have their first points of the second half. Goldsmith looks in. Tipped by Keller and Martin will come down on Goldsmith. She'll take it to the basket and blocked on the play, but Goldsmith comes up with a foul. So they'll send Chloe Martin to the line shooting two. Shot is up and good for Martin. She'll get a second. Six to 
Second shot is off the iron, but rebounded by J.C. Keller. She'll get it across court to Eby. Martin back to Eby on the give and go. She goes up for the shot. She's fouled on the play. So she'll go to the line shooting two. Shots off the back of the iron. Flames will come play and play, come down and play man to man defense. Matthews looking to get something going. Goldsmith back to Matthews with the runner. But Potter tries to come up with a loose rebound, and Martin will come up with it. One on three, she'll wisely bring it back and set up the half court offense. Thirty-one to fourteen. Five and a half in the third. Patriots playing a zone. Three-two defense. In the corner, EB almost loses it. Any more lines it up? She misses off the hands of uh, Kelsey EB. That'll be Patriots ball. Matthews drives. Tough call. Leah Myers had possession. And she'll draw the foul, so Matthews goes lunge, shooting two. Ref said she had a sidestep. I think the offensive player had the sidestep and somehow drew the contract contact off the hip and got the call. Second shot is good. So Matthews gets both of her Free throws to go. Gets the Patriots on the board here in the second half. Martin drives, gets it on the baseline to Keller. They'll bring it back out. He will drive with the runner, can't get it to go. Comes up with the rebound, and she'll go back up, and she's fouled on the play by Goldsmith. That'll be her third. shot is good, second shot coming. Second shot is off the front of the iron, rebounded by Goldsmith who gets it to Matthews. Goldsmith will look the drive. Ooh, a lot of foot movement there, no call. Back inside the Goldsmith. EB, good defense, and passes to her sister who loses it off the fingertips. We're going to assume they're sisters. Haley Goldsmith, the taller, number 13, Kaylee. Goldsmith, number three, the senior. Martin drives high off the glass. And Chloe Martin gets it to go for two. Flames leading 34 to 16. 
just under four minutes, and that'll be Kira Goldsmith for two, the jump shot, the senior guard. Drives right through the lane. Can't quite get it to roll in. Potter comes up with the rebound. And Goldsmith, the younger, the sophomore, pass to Matthews. Gives it to Potter back in the Goldsmith. She'll try her hand off the backboard. No good, but Potter comes up with the rebound. And she'll try and get it out. Picked up by Myers. And she's fouled on the play by Matthews. That'll be the team fifth. Matthews third. Two more and the Flames will be shooting one and one. Ball lost out of bounds. And Elena Jones and Joanna Ream will come into the game as Leah Myers and JC Keller take a breather. Pass inside the Goldsmith. Nice cut by Matthews and she gets the assist from Goldsmith and the Patriots have 20 down by 14. Easy drive to the basket for Annie Moore. She fakes the three. Defense doesn't react. She drives baseline. Easy two off the glass. Goldsmith for three. Misses. Potter gets the rebound and goes up. And she'll be fouled on the play. So she'll go to the line shooting two. I did not. I said I wanted one more. Fouls on number 23, oh Elena Jones. That'll be her first, team second. Potter's first shot bounces around and off. Potter's second shot is good. 21 to 36. Flames ball. Any more lines up to three and knocks it down. Matthews drives to the basket and she'll be fouled on the play. By number 10, Annie Moore. So Matthews will go to one shooting two. First shot is off the front of the iron, no good. Second shot, finds nothing but the net. Scores 39 to 22, Flames leading. Just over a minute in the third quarter, left to play. Any more with the fake, she'll drive for the jump shot off the back of the iron, she'll get a rebound. And Martin will think about it, she'll drive and kick. And she'll decide to line it up, misses. Elena Jones comes up with the offensive rebound. And leave the fouls on 12 Potter.
That'll be the team six, Potter's second. Next one, putting the flames on the line. Martin will line it up, jump shot, rims in and out. Matthews looks to drive again, one-handed. And Potter comes up with another rebound, but she loses it. Annie Moore with 12 seconds, drives with the right hand, can't connect. Goldsmith comes down with the rebound. She tries to look for Matthews off the glass. No good. Three seconds left. Goldsmith will throw it up, and she'll get it to go at the buzzer. So Haley Goldsmith, the sophomore, with the jump shot. It's 24 to 39 going into the fourth quarter. Here we go, fourth and final quarter. Flames with the ball. Start of the fourth, leading by 15, solid lead. Any more drives, she'll kick the L. EB, EB, long two. Rebounded by Potter. So Potter with quite a few rebounds here in the third and start of the fourth. And passes it inverted. Moore gets it, one on three. She'll pull it back. Any more fakes the three. No defense on the baseline, but shot is too strong. So the Patriots defense kind of slowing up. And we've got a travel on the floor. Liam Myers and Chloe Martin will check in for Elena Jones and Kelsey Eby. Patriots still in the 2-3-3-2. Two, three, three, two. Martin easily drives by, gets it inside the Myers. A little short off the glass. Patriots rebound. Potter inside, gets it out to Matthews. And that'll be a three second call in the lane by Potter. And we're going the other day, other way as Adria Ream will come in for her sister, Joanna Ream. Any more looks inside for Myers. Can't quite find the backboard, a little bit too deep on the baseline. Tough shot. 
tipped by Martin, and she'll come up with a loose ball. So good play by Chloe Martin. Nice pass from Reem to Annie Moore. So beautiful possession. Started with the defense of Chloe Martin. And it's 41 to 24 off the hands of the Patriots. And we're going back the other way. Chloe Martin with the jump shot. She gets it to go right from the free throw line. And we've got a timeout on the floor by Carol Christian. And that'll be a 30 second timeout. 519 left in the game. Flames leading by 19. Patriots ball out of bounds. Haley Smith from beyond the arc, off the front of the rim, no good. She'll get the invert pass. And we've got a foul on the Patriots. That'll send 25, Katie Monturo to the line, shooting one and one. Fouls on blue 21. That'll be her first. Katie Monturo seeing her first action of the game and gets rewarded right away with a strong defensive play. Shot is up and it's good. Second shot is off the back of the iron, but Leah Myers goes hard for the rebound and it's out of bounds. Inside the Potter, back outside. Day goes inside the Matthews. And ball is off the fingertips of the Flames. That will remain Patriots ball on the baseline. Nice pass inside the Matthews from Goldsmith for the easy two. Inside the Montero, back outside the Ream. Tipped out of bounds by the Patriots. Flames ball on the baseline. Inside the Montero, she'll try it off the glass. Can't quite connect. EB comes up with the offensive rebound. Martin drives all the way in. Myers throws it up. And can't connect, but she's fouled on the play, so she'll go to the line shooting two. First shot is good. Second shot is off the mark, but rebounded by Montero. In 
inside to Martin. Jump shot is good. So the give and go from Martin to Eby and back. And we've got a timeout on the floor. left in the game. Pass, ooh, pass just about stolen by Martin, but they'll call a jump ball. Good defense by Martin. And Joanna Ream will come in the game for Chloe, or for Kelsey Eby. Stolen by Ream. And Martin comes up with a loose ball. Inside the Jones. She'll get it back outside the ring to her sister across court. And stolen by Potter. Goldsmith will line it up for a three and she connects. So Haley Goldsmith with another three. I believe she's got three or four in the game. Inside the Jones all alone, off the backboard. And she connects for two flames with a 20 point lead with 245 left to play. Day off the baseline, rebounded by Reem. And she'll pass it out to Martin. Martin inside the Montero, back outside. Claire Martin goes to the top, and Reem will come for a jump shot. Knocks it down. Adria Reem with the long two. Ball stolen by Joanna Reem. She'll get it ahead to Martin, who will drive off the backboard. And the Patriots not getting back on D. Matthews will drive with the right hand. She misses. Potter gets the rebound. She's blocked. Day will pull from the corner. Rebounded by Matthews off the glass. And she gets an easy put back. 115 left. Patriots stay in the press. Flames easily get it down court. Easy shot for Jones. Tough angle. She can't get it to go. Montero gets the rebound. She can't get it to fall. And it'll be Flames ball on the baseline. Her sister tries to get it to Montero inside just off the mark. Under a minute to go and pass inside the Matthews and she's fouled on the play. Foul on Chloe Martin. That'll send Matthews shooting two.
And Emily Van Pelt about to enter the game. She'll come in for Elena Jones. Shot is up and good. Adria Ream to Chloe Martin, back to Ream. She'll pull the three. Off the mark, no good. Adria comes up with the rebound. And she's pressured, gets it to Chloe Martin. 30 seconds to go in the game. She tries to get it ahead to Montura, which will produce a fast break for the Patriots. And Matthews gets it to go off the glass. Chloe Martin with 12 seconds left. Montero inside. Can't quite get it to go. She goes up again. She's blocked on the play. Do it for the ball game. Your Shalom Flames 53, Carol Christian Patriots 35. Thank you for joining. My name is Troy Hubers. We'll see you again next time, which will be tomorrow. Home game, or I believe away game against Bob Fording Christian. We'll see. But until then, have a good one.